As I pointed out, many of these lazy mouse features are the power behind the hard surface and planar brushes, but many of them can be used for the standard brushes that you're used to here inside ZBrush and give those brushes a lot of new control. So one feature I'd like to talk about now is Snap to Track, and I'm going to switch from Plane over to Line for this one, and then I'm going to click Snap to Track, and then I'm going to use the standard brush. So I have Line selected, Snap to Track, Standard Brush, and you're going to see I'm going to click a starting point and then click an end point and as I move back in that direction you can see that even though my cursor has moved away from the brush line I can continue brushing right over that area because it's now snapped to that track. I'll make my brush size a little bit smaller and I'm going to switch from line over to path. Again I have snap to track active, my standard brush, and path. Now I can click a start point and make a path and then move back, backtrack towards that start point and no matter where my cursor goes you can see I can just move back and forth and kind of build up that path because I have snap to track active. Now where trim ends comes into play if I activate that is that it will essentially mask off the ends so you can get a nice sharp crease where the ends of your stroke are. So again I'll draw a line, start moving along, and you can see we have a nice sharp stop there at trim ends. So again a lot of these are built into many of the brushes, many of the hard surface and planar brushes you see here, but for many of the standard brushes that you're using in ZBrush, I seriously recommend that you experiment adding plane, line, path, snap to track, and trim ends, and you'll see that you can get a lot of control over brushes that you already love.